Here at Colorado State University, emotional support animals serve a vital role to around 300 students and faculty. They range from dogs to cats to rodents and have become an essential role in many people's lives. My emotional support pet is Theodore Evelyn Roosevelt. He is a guinea pig. He is about two and a half years old. Roxy is a mini Australian Shepherd and she's about three years old. It's about five months old, I'd say, maybe six. I have close family friends who bred their dogs and had puppies and right after the puppies were born they went on a trip so I puppy sat for them and instead of payment they had let me pick one of the puppies to keep and take home with me so I picked the rug that I had bonded with while they were on their trip. Theodore was a Christmas present. My parents got him for me in 2016. Um, I found him on the side of the road uh, two days before I left for college. I think that Having an emotional support animal is always a positive thing in your life and really creates a home for you. He's made my experience a lot less stressful. Um, I don't have a roommate anymore, which is one of the reasons why I wanted Nugget in the first place. And um, he just makes me feel like I'm not alone in my room. And he gives me a purpose too, like I'm not just here for myself to take care of another living creature. Mm -hmm. Which is a lot of responsibility, but it's nice. I honestly don't know what I would do without her here with me. If I'm ever going through a period of bad anxiety, I can always count on her to be there with me. More than just me, a lot of my friends and people that I'm close with, they love Theodore, they know Theodore, they come visit him all the time. I think animals, like, I've, I've been raised with animals my whole life and They've been one of the biggest sources of joy and happiness for me and I just think that people have a fundamentally better life when they're around animals. At first I thought it might be hard to find time to take her outside and for walks, but now I think that time is a good break for me, so it's not really much different. I'd say being in the dorms is hard because you want to make sure they have a good quality of life and I definitely battle with making sure that all of his you know, exercise needs are met and you know, his social needs are met. But um, I try to take him outside and stuff to combat that and make sure he's happy. I feel like a lot of college students struggle with depression and being able to take care of something every day and knowing you have something to come back to definitely really like helps affect it in a positive way. I think you know with emotional support animals it's definitely a kind of case by case basis. You know some pets are a lot better than others and I got lucky with mine and he's made my college experience just really awesome and I'm really happy that he's in my life. She serves an incredibly important purpose in my life, and I would recommend having an ESA to anyone struggling with mental health in which extra love and comfort would help. The benefits greatly outweigh the costs.